Okay, chapter 7.1. Using deductive approaches to solve geometric problems on triangles. And first, we are going to talk about congruent triangles first. First of all, we say that two triangles will be congruent to each other if they have the same size and same shape. That is, they can be overlapped with each other. Now these two blue triangles overlap with each other and we said that they are congruent to each other. And therefore now we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ. And note that the symbol for congruent triangles is written in this way. Going up and then going down and then we have an equal sign underneath. And for congruent triangles, we have two very important conditions to bear in mind. The first one is all the corresponding sides are equal. And therefore we have this conclusion. If AB equals to XY, BC equals to YZ, and CA equals to EZX. And we have a reason for this as corresponding size. Congruent triangles. Uh, in addition, all the corresponding angles are equal to, that is, angle A equals to angle X, angle B equals to angle Y, angle C equals to angle EZ. And therefore, this is the second conclusion. All the corresponding angles are equal. And we can write down the reason in this way. Corresponding angles congruent triangles. Therefore, we have to uh, bear in mind that these are the two very important conclusions of congruent triangles.